I'm Adam. And I'm Kristen. And today we're at Epcot for Snack and Ride. Uh, it is officially summertime here in Florida. <laughs> well, it may not officially be summer. It feels like summer to us. The heat is on, what is it, like 95? It is 92. 92. Yeah. <laughs> so if you're coming to the parks, it's going to feel like 100. It is officially summer in Florida. Especially when you've got like the heat from the pavement coming up. Uh, and you have to enjoy yeah. these moments like this where the clouds go in front of the sun yes. for just a minute and you get just a little oh, bit of shade. a little bit of breeze. So today we are heading over to Germany here at Epcot, the Germany Pavilion, for um, their pretzel bread pudding. Everybody's talking about it. It's all the rage, pretzel bread pudding. So we're going to head over to Germany and grab some pretzel bread pudding. Mm -hmm. And because it's so hot, we need to cool down. Oh, I love that top. Sorry. <laughs> Squirrel. I really love that stop. <laughs> so because it's so hot, we decided we're going to go ride Frozen Ever After. So we're going to get ourselves some pretzel bread pudding and then head on over to Frozen over in Norway and go for a ride. You might as well point out here that I'm going to miss with the Flower and Garden Festival ending next month, like all the extra little flower pieces that they have out. Yeah, I know, like the topiaries and everything. Yeah. I yeah. Because that stuff goes away next month when Flower and Garden ends, right. right? Like all these extra flower pots over here. That all goes away. And uh, the Impatience Towers right here. I just think it's really pretty and it's a nice addition to Epcot World Showcase. Yeah, I wish they'd keep the flowers all year round. I mean, I guess I understand that flowers aren't in bloom all year. Yeah, yeah. it does make sense. It's but you can't have them all out during summer right. in Florida. Oh, I see. So we're going to the uh, hidden quick service food restaurant, which is summer like fest. Summerfest around back here. Yes. So beer garden on the left, Summerfest on the right. I don't know if I haven't been back here in a while, but those are definitely repainted. That's really bright. They've done a good. Oh, job. all their shields over there yeah. for the regions of Germany. Yeah. I love the. General, the um, painting on I, the walls here. I love the Glockenspiel. Do you love the Glockenspiel? I do. I wish the glockenspiel was working. That's the glockenspiel. It's their uh, clock, their animated clock. We're right here. She's like, it's so hot out. It's so hot. <laughs> you have your fan, though. Oh, if you're looking for a little shade and some cool air. It's a great spot. This is a, a nice little spot to get away. It's a great in. little shady spot. As long spot. as they don't have too many people waiting for right. your garden. OK, I'm going to go get our pickup. All right. Oh. It looks like it's ready, huh? Yep. Okay. Unless you want to go get it. Nope, you can go get it. Grab it. Wow, so this is it. This is the um, pretzel bread pudding. Right. I oh, have seen this wow. on so many food vlogs about the hottest new thing here at Epcot. So what is it exactly, though? You know, I looked at their menu. And on the mobile order, I didn't see the specifics on it. Okay. Other than pretzel bread pudding. And it looks like it has a delicious little drizzle there on the top, right? right? Looks like it was caramel. Caramel. And um, is it hot or cold? It was hot. Uh, you know, at first I thought she took it out of a, a cold refrigerator. Okay. Uh, but in touching it, it must have been a warmer. So it's served hot. Mm -hmm. All right, let's find a place to sit down and eat it. Oh, I'm getting a nice close-up shot there. I don't want to hit the camera lens right on there, but... That looks delicious. So you said it's $4.99? $4.79. Oh, $4.79. Uh -huh. Okay. And so they don't have it explicitly written out. What it is. On the mobile order app menu uh, to say what kind of sauce or anything. Just says pretzel bread pudding, $4.79. So we'll might as well just cut into it. Oh, it is so soft and moist in there. Oh, I can't wait. Yeah. Oh, wow. That looks good. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. Grab yeah. I have heard so many amazing things about this dessert. I've been waiting to try this with you, Adam. Grab I'm excited. Bite. Okay. Are you generally a fan of bread pudding? No. No? Wow. Adam, this is up my alley. Is it? And it's toasty out. Very toasty. But I'm in love with this. This lives up to all of the hype I've been reading about this. This is phenomenal. Does it have raisins and stuff in it? No raisins. Okay. So it's got a light, uh, very soft bread uh, pudding here. 
and it's got a just a hint of cinnamon. Oh, it's not cinnamon. overwhelming. Okay. Uh, and this does taste like a I don't know, a frosting with some caramel mm -hmm. drizzle over it. Just a traditional frosting, nothing different or fancy about it. All right, is it my turn? Mm -hmm. Okay. This is, this is everything. This is the new dessert that I think I'm gonna recommend to everybody. Ooh. Okay, here we go. Yeah, you actually, um, um, you, ate, you ate more of that than I thought, like. No, I'm, I'm in love with this. Mm. Wow. Yeah, this is really good. You know, a lot of times when they put out new desserts, I'm just kind of in mm. a meh about it. But I'll be back for this. this I'm gonna be back for this. Yeah, this is delicious. It's warm. I'm kind of surprised that they don't have it in more places. It's not too sweet. The just drizzle a, is so good. Mm, yeah. Mm. It's just a mobile order mm -hmm. option. You know, I, unless you are up on kind of some of the food blogs and the new food stuff here at Disney, you wouldn't realize that this is. Back I've never here. heard of it. I didn't know this. Over you at were the Summer one that Fest told me about mobile this. order, so it's kind of hidden. Mm. Let's take a look here. So right here, Summerfest, you go in, and it's kind of dark back there. Over here is where the beer garden uh, check-in is for that restaurant. So unless you're kind of up on these new Kristen, type of snacks. I'm gonna eat the whole thing here unless you get some quick. You can take it down. Mm, mm, mm. This was, mm. okay. I, I have to tell some. all of my friends and family about this one. I'm, I saved this for you. Okay. Um, I don't know how to explain it. It's kind of the consistency it's a bread pudding. of- pudding. I don't know how else to say it, but- It's kind of the consistency, if you're not used to bread pudding, which I'm not, mm -hmm. it's kind of like a carrot cake, only softer and smoother and- mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, so yeah, this is it's sugary, fan. but not too sweet. Too sweet, you know. And the same thing, the frosting just gives it enough sweet to make it addicting. That's yeah, what nice I would call bite. it. Give me a nice big bite. There you go. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we'll be getting this again. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know what? What? And I actually can tell the difference between using pretzel bread in this between a and a normal bread pudding. Oh, the glockenspiel is gonna go off. starting, here you go. We because finished, we did good work on this one. Yeah, because we're trying out oh. so many different snacks, but. Good, good, good I will be back for book. this. Yeah, I'm in fact, I will be back. I wanna take one home with me. I would try, I would honestly. Yeah. This is a snack that even though it's a little messy, uh, if you had some way, you take it fork. back to the hotel. Yeah. You need a fork, you need a fork for sure. Yeah. All right, so. Should we head on over and uh, cool off? I need to cool off. I'm I starting need... to sweat like crazy. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. All right, let's cool off. We need the perfect ride. Yeah. All right, so we're making our way now from Germany over to Norway to ride Frozen Ever After. I believe it's called Frozen Ever After, isn't it? The Frozen Ride? That's what it should be, yeah. Yeah, I believe that's what it's called over in Norway. We have a lightning lane. And man, I haven't ridden this ride in a while, so I'm kind of excited to go ride. I know. And I think we get to bring Harper with us. All of us together are going to be able to do today's ride, so I'm excited that we can ride the ride I hope together. it's nice and frozen in it's there. It's gonna be nice and frozen in there because it is still 94 degrees out here. <laughs> so it looks like what? It's about a 45 minute standby entrance, but we do have Lightning Lane for Frozen Ever After. See, I told you it's Frozen Ever After. You know, it's funny you call these names by what you think they call you call them like like the Peter Pan ride, but really it's called like Peter Pan's Flight, isn't it? Yeah. So, yeah. Anyway, Frozen Ever After. Oh, 65 minutes. 65 minutes. Okay. Yeah. Well, that's good that they can get everybody. So, Lightning Lane was good, and Baby Harper's coming with us. Yay. in here it's oh so nice. it's great although it takes your second your eyes a second to adjust i know it's very dark in here
Gosh, I'm sorry, but in this situation, Lightning Lane is amazing. Um, yes. It's worth every penny for some of these big rides like this. It was, uh, it was well over 60 minutes earlier. Yeah. Today. Hello. Oh, we're going to scan one more time. We're going to wait here for just a second. Sounds good. So with Lightning Lane, this was equivalently like a walk-on. We just yes. pr we're pretty much gonna walk right on it. Uh, I mean, literally, we're waiting for about two and a half minutes. That's about it. We're gonna walk right on. Hey. Hi, here we go.
How did she do? She was okay. She was okay? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I went like this. Like she How did she do for the drop? Good? Oh, she got scared. She got a little scared? Okay. We went down, she was like... And then, the, I forget that she's sitting on my lap. Yeah? So the water hit her. Oh, she got, on the, on the drop, she got a little she water? She got water, yeah. Oh, no! Baby's first frozen. So, what do you think your favorite part about the Frozen ride is? I like seeing Marshmallow at the end and then you go down. So you like the drop at the end? The drop, Oh, yeah. no, no, my favorite I think it's part fun. is definitely the let it go. The ice she, castle. She pushes you down backwards. That's my that favorite part. That is pretty part. fun, too. We were just talking about how we really miss um, Maelstrom, which was the ride that was here before Frozen. I will say, though, they did an excellent job changing um, this ride from Maelstrom to um, what it is after. now with Frozen Ever After. Mm -hmm. They did not let me down at all. I think it's still a really good ride. And she got to go on it for her first time. How did Baby Harper do? She really enjoyed it. Okay. She was a little nervous in mm -hmm. the beginning because it's kind of dark when you're going through the troll area. Uh, yeah. But the drop kind of wigged her out a little bit she got because wet. she got wet. <laughs> <laughs> she was not expecting that. <laughs> well, Baby Harper's first time on Frozen Ever After, we had some delicious um, pretzel bread pudding over in Germany that we're going to be getting again, and I highly recommend. Would you give it, i give it like an 8 out of 10 or a 10 out of 10. Oh, that's 10 out of 10. I thought that they hit a home run with that dessert, that snack. They need to have more Not enough of those. people know about it, and if you haven't heard about it, it is 100% worth your time and you can mobile order it so and it's, it's got quick. that little pretzel kind of bread feature to it oh I love it so much <laughs> I, I love it so much we're gonna go back there for Father's Day I hope probably and get more I'm sure we will yes <laughs> all right well until then thank you so much for joining us for this edition of snack and ride please make sure that you subscribe to our channel and turn those notifications on. If you want to get yourself a really cool snack and ride t-shirt, we have a link for that in the description here. Otherwise, we will see you all next time. Until then, enjoy all the snacks and all the rides, everybody.